we can build our way out of him. To save New Orleans from deadly floods, the world's first floating city, this is Mega Engineers. Getting traction in a country 5,000 miles away. Like New Orleans, the Netherlands has battled the sea for centuries. It lies below sea level and is protected by dikes, high flood walls similar to levees. But sea levels are rising, creating what the Dutch call new water. Expanding lakes on Amsterdam's edges that strangle growth and threaten to put the city underwater. This has led to a radical new solution. An increasing number of families are choosing not to avoid the water, but to move on top of it into houseboats. It's the only way to guarantee that your house will stay above water and a cheap alternative in a city where new water is making land more and more expensive. But houseboats aren't perfect. They're too small and lightweight to be truly stable. And if there's any turbulence at all, they are simply too risky. But some see the new water as an opportunity and are quietly leading an expansion into enemy territory. It's not a passion, it's a way of life. I live in a country that's below sea level. It's one big waterfront over here. And I'm very driven by the fact that we only build here in one way, a static way, on land. And we have water all around us. So I'm trying to build in a new way, and that's on water. And this is Cones shot across the bow with the floating city revolution. A two-story house where the first floor actually sits below the waterline. It's a design never before attempted in traditional houseboats, made possible by an innovative hull design. Most houseboats have a shallow hull with a high center of gravity, an inherently unstable design. But Cone's house utilizes a deep hull that dramatically lowers the center of gravity. Additionally, a ring of dense concrete around the edge of the hull helps distribute the load across the entire floating house. It means the structure is much less sensitive to waves than a traditional houseboat would be, yet still moves up and down with minor fluctuations in water levels. In the new New Orleans, deeper platforms under taller buildings would stabilize them, and ringing platforms with concrete would neutralize the shifting weights of the working city above. For Cone, individual houses are only the beginning. Well, if you're talking about urban development, it's not only about housing. There's so many types of buildings you need to create a complete city, like hotels, churches. We don't only design these houses, but we try to design a complete toolbox of solutions that can be used to make a city on water. Cone is making his grand plans a reality in a new floating suburb currently under construction. Rolf Peters is Cone's chief engineer. This development, for 300 houses in total, is the first and biggest development in floating houses in the world. So in this case, we have a lot of engineers and utility managers to have the best quality of floating houses, so we'll be ready for the future to have even bigger developments possible. Expansions like this are possible because the floating houses are cheaper to build than land-based houses. For one thing, they don't require driving piles 35 feet into the ground, like the raised houses in New Orleans. Building on water is much easier than building on land. Holland is just one big swamp. It means all the soil is very soft, and building here takes a lot of effort by making all these piles into the ground. And then, even after 10 years, your house can start to go a little bit out of balance. On water, you only have to build a floating foundation. And if you can build a foundation a little bit larger than a houseboat, then you have a very stable platform on which you can build just about any house you'd like. 
houses can be built quickly indoors and then floated into place. Here at ABC Arkenbau, just outside Amsterdam, 22 floating houses are under construction. Each house begins in one of the factory's 10 working bays, called dry docks. As the underwater concrete hull is finished, construction begins on the house above, essentially fusing house and platform, making them strong and inseparable. Once finished, the house is floated out of the factory and into place. At four months a house, Within five years, all 300 houses in Amsterdam will be finished, and the efficiencies of this production model would be even more pronounced in New Orleans. <laughs>